Hey everybody and welcome back to Tokyo. My name is Amanda and today I'm in Sanrio Puro Land. Puro Land. I don't know if I've ever said that correctly, but anyways, I'm in Sanrio Land in Tokyo, Japan. And welcome back to Vlogmas. So today, I am here alone. So this is my first time in Sanrio Puro Land, so I'm excited to see what they have to offer. I know they have some special Christmas events going on right now. So yeah, let's go exploring together. first time here so I really don't know where I'm going I mean I have a map but I thought I just wing it and see where the wind takes me okay so I've been here for about 30 minutes and I'm already bored it's like I think I shouldn't have come alone because I feel like I would have had more fun with a friend but Mariana went back to the UK for Christmas and Yuji's at work and I guess I could have asked more people but so now I'm here alone. I think I do have to look at the map though. Winging it is not working for me because surprisingly there isn't a lot of English signs which I find very odd actually because this would be a tourist spot so I'm not sure why they don't have more English signage for like what the rides are, what the shows are. So yeah, I'm gonna look at my map that I received when I bought my ticket. Okay, so right now I'm in line to go into Hello Kitty's house. So Hello Kitty's house is called Lady Kitty's house and I mean like I don't know about you guys but doesn't it sound like a madam's house? Like also I wanna like say that Sanrio Kurona needs a massive makeover because the whole thing's feeling like a bad old rundown love hotel. Okay, right now I'm about to go into Miss Kitty's house. Love hotel. Is it me or this, is this a replica of a Tim Walker photo? Or somebody copied somebody, but this looks vaguely familiar. So now I'm in line to meet Miss Kitty herself. Also, they have a promotion right now where you can buy like a fake rose to give to Hello Kitty and they're 500 yen each. And um, I see this one girl, anyways, um, this one girl, she bought five of them. She bought five fake roses to give to Hello Kitty. Christmas time on its way So apparently they have some limited edition Puma Hello Kitty collaboration items. <laughs> so when you meet Hello Kitty, you're only allowed either you take one photo yourself or you can take a photo by the photographer and then pay for the photo, which I'm not about to do. So I just took a short little video of her. That's what you guys just saw. But I'm gonna try to find the Kiki and Lala illumination um, event that's happening. Right now I found the Kiki and Lala shop, so I must be close. Um, I think Kiki and Lala are like my favorite characters. It's really loud in here. Are you guys able to hear me? Oh, this looks like those pencil like boxes. What is it called? I don't know. I used to have these when in grade school and it would hold my, my pencils, all my stationery. They're so cute. These used to be so popular. Oh my god. Oh, it's not that expensive either. This city has a 
Naked is a company, by the way. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. It could have been a lot better, though, I feel like. Remind me, and I will do my best to recall. Obviously, I got the afternoon pass that didn't include some of the attractions, but the afternoon pass is from like 2 to 5 o'clock, so I only can be here for three hours. And it's uh, 2,200 yen, so about $22. I just wanted to see the winter illumination that they had, the projection mapping with twin stars. But it, I think it's really hard to film here because everywhere is so loud. Okay, so I think before we head out, we should do some shopping. And it looks like this shop is massive. I have a Hello Kitty sweater. Look, these look like Super Mario colors, do they not? But it's really cute. It's got a hoodie with cat ears. Chuckle ears. Oh, I'm really liking these. 70s, 80s, and real designs. What is this, a book? I think this is pretty reasonably priced for, I'm, you know what? This is definitely a design book with some illustrations and graphic design inside. I think it's totally worth it for 22 bucks. This is really cute. This is uh, the KO Line train, the one that they have the, um, what is it called? Train wrapping with Sanrio right now. It's a limited time thing. Oh. Something that I just realized and noticed is that I'm not seeing any Kuropi merchandise. I find that really odd because like Kuropi used to be like the main guy, right? Am I saying it correctly? Would I, how would I say it in Japanese? Keropi? Kuropi? Keropi? Yeah, no Keropi merchandise. Maybe I can find one thing, let me see. Hello Kitty Tonkotsu Ramen. Keropi, 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 keropi. Looking, looking, looking. Found something, keropi. I found it. Yatta. Success. Literally the only thing that I've seen that's keropi. Okay, guys, well, I guess that's it for San Rio Puro Land. It's really noisy in here. I want to get out. It's really hot. Overall, I give this place what? I don't know. I gave it a five. It really needs some renovation. It looks really old. There are some really fun aspects to it, but overall it, it seems really outdated. It needs an upgrade. Is it worth coming to? If you really like San Rio, then yes. There are a lot of great photo ops here as well. In my opinion, uh, Moomin Valley Park was 
way better than this. Overall though, I am happy I came and experienced it for my first time. So, but that's it for today's Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you again tomorrow. Oh my God, there's Hello Kitty. Let's say goodnight to her.